So anyway, what do you think about the Cavs? I just wrote a column. I think they're going to make easy work of the Magic, which is surprising to people, but I do. I just think they're going to roll right past them. I'm hoping so, too. Um, with the way that this team has been playing, um, one of the things I talked about on my show was I'm not sure if Donovan is 100% because uh, one of the recent games that I missed the last home game because I had a, a prior obligation, so I missed the last home game. But the home game before that, I think, was Friday night. And it seemed like he was, yeah, it yeah. seemed like he was kind of limping up the court a little bit. Like I was noticing something, you know, a while, you know, how slow he was to get back and play defense. You know, everybody sprints up to play defense, but he was a little bit slower, you know, getting into position defensively. Um, so you still got uh, Dean Wade out. Um, so uh, who knows as Evan is, you know, really 100% as well, you know, because he hasn't been contributing offensively like he usually does. So um, one of the things is they have, you know, issues with teams with length and you know yeah. Jared Allen has kind of you know made fun of himself with the lights too big comment and you hope that the lights isn't too big in this series because the last time Orlando was in town they beat us so yeah. you know Orlando is supposed to be you know one of these teams that are not good but they're in the fifth seed of this Eastern Conference and that last game Mo Wagner got into the Cavs heads you know, and I don't like questioning another man's toughness. Like, I don't like doing that because I think that that's insulting. Um, but you can be out-rebounded. You could be pushed around a little bit and things of that nature. And that's kind of, you know, what happened, you know, in that game against Orlando when they came here. So um, I have the Cavs moving past in this series. I'd like to – okay, so one thing is I thought that these series were five games. So they're seven-game series now. That's what they were when we were growing up with five oh. teams. Remember that? Okay. Yeah. So the first okay. round seven. But you know what? I don't know. There hasn't been too many first round series that have gone all seven games. Um, okay. The Cavs was dispatched easily last year, so I thought it was a five game series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yeah, it was a five game series last year. Um, yeah. 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 So I have the Cavs uh probably uh four games to um one four games to two. That's what. Oh, I'm four games to two. Uh, yeah, okay. because I think that you know Orlando might be able to win in Orlando, and we all know that in the game of basketball, you know the home team gets all the calls. So I think that that's something that uh, make it interesting as well. The NBA wants these series to be longer as well for more ad, you know, revenue and more money and things like that. So I think that this series will be four games to two. I don't like that, but you know, one of the things is people were talking about, and I don't know if you agree, uh, Jessica. Yeah, I see Jessica's comment. I'm wrong, Jessica. So. You know, it's a seven game series. Oh, she said seven game series with a question mark. Okay, so you didn't know that either. Yeah, I guess you maybe thinking it was five like me. So okay, so I see you. But um, people were saying that the Cavs threw that game because they didn't want to get the matchup between um, oh, yeah. Philly or um, Miami. Miami. And they yeah. didn't want to get that matchup. So I'm like, why would they do that? Yes, Philly is always a tough draw. And you got Joel and B back. So Philly is a tough draw because even when they didn't have him, Maxi, you know, stepped in, carried the load and was just phenomenal. Um, but why would you want to get that ball, that matchup with Boston in the second round when yeah. it took a Herculean, yeah. a Herculean miracle by Dean Wade to get one game out of the four that they played them? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, that's, that's very true. I, I can't – I think that the Cavs really just wanted to rest their main guys and get them a game off, let them get ready to play. I think they were willing to let the chips fall where they may. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think they purposely threw a game. I can tell you this. No NBA player is going to purposely throw a game. I mean, they're out there to win, right? And no, no coach is going to purposely throw a game. They're out, they, they're out there to play to win. So, to me – on paper, the Cavs have the easiest matchup on the playoffs. In the playoffs, did they orchestrate that? I I doubt it. But you're right. If you're looking beyond the first round, right, you're going to be playing the the uh, Celtics presumably in the second mm -hmm. round. So yeah, that that would be a difficult thing. Either way, you know, you just have to focus on this series, and you have to focus on redeeming yourself um, after last year's playoff showing. And I, I'm with you, Rachel. I suspect they will. You had six games. I think that's fair. I think if it goes seven, that's probably a little bit of a disappointment for the Cavs. Mm -hmm. uh, because Orlando, as as you mentioned, they have great size. They've got, you know, both both Wagners. Paolo Banchero, who's uh, mm -hmm. obviously an all-star and a fantastic young player. And then um, 
uh, Wendell Carter Jr., who comes off the bench and is a, a, another nice player. So, I mean, right there you're talking about four guys who are 6'10", and, and they all can play. So, mm. yeah, the Cavs are going to have to – Cavs are going to have to – be cognizant of that. I'm sure they will be. But other than that, I just think, you know, Rachel, if we look at teams in the playoffs, it's usually the more experienced teams that advance. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hopefully, they, you know, the Cavs have that working in their favor.